for every generation. It has started with the call to serve. Discovering the purpose and the belonging earned with the title. Learning to dig deep and push through adversity together. Defending our nation and its people. It is a life of great worth and reward. But Marines are never really finished serving. Their commitment comes full circle, visible in communities across our country. This is Semper Fidelis, always faithful, always Marine, marking a path for the next generation. And we are here back Attitude MMA with the man, the myth, the legend, the president of LFA Legacy Fighting Alliance, Ed Soares. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. It's great to come out here. Uh, you know, very excited uh, with our, you know, with our channel, uh, LFA Fight Network, to, you know, have Attitude MMA as our first, uh, uh, our first, uh, basically partnership on, 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 under the uh, under the channel. Now I do I do want to talk about that because a press release came out about two weeks ago. Yes. And say you're coming around to regional MMA action almost as a farm system, if I have this correct, for LFA and Attitude MMA is the first one you're running a show with. Talk me through that. Yeah, basically what we wanted to do is you know number one help get exposure, uh, help get exposure for all the. Uh, um, uh, smaller events throughout the uh, throughout the country, and also it helps us uh, see our new talent that we want to pick up and bring into the LFA. On top of that, if these guys have a great finish, a great submission, a great knockout, or something, we're going to be able to have the content to actually explain and tell them instead of just saying, "Hey, this guy's uh, you know he's coming off of two or three knockouts." We're going to be able to have a little bit of more of a visual effect to it, and really just discovering new talent is. A great thing and also giving uh, you know what happens if uh, uh, some guy's uh, family is across the country now they could tune into LFA fight network and be able to watch their, their family members or loved ones fight yeah and I just want to say it's a real pleasure for us to have you here like I know guys like Eric and I have been watching MMA for a long time like you come from managing a lot of great guys in the past like Anderson Silva yeah. speak a little bit to that like your past in MMA and kind of what that's meant to you kind of getting to this position now with LFA yeah I mean you know it, it, it's been an incredible ride I ab absolutely love what I do um, I love this sport uh, I was telling Chad earlier today it's like you know people say well man what happens one day if you sell or are you gonna retire I'm like what am I gonna do yeah, well, I mean <laughs> I, I get to travel around the world sit front row and watch fights it's like and I get paid to do that and and I absolutely love it I, I really love working with these young younger fighters as they're coming up they're so humble they're grateful and you know the biggest best thing about it is making a difference in some of these kids lives and and that that's what I enjoy doing I, I love coming to events I love coming out here sitting ringside seeing some of these amateurs some of these amateurs you see the level of, L right. we of talk MMA. About that. the level of MMA nowadays is just so yeah. high I mean it, it's incredible last night we had a uh, we had a a, a, a fight of a girl uh, making her pro debut against a girl that was 1-0 and oh, and if that's on our actual channel right now it's absolutely incredible to see the level yeah. of, of, of them I mean it, you, you got young people who are starting out training at such an early age now and then when you're seeing them here at a young amateur it's like they're on a whole nother level from what we're used to seeing yeah I think in the past what you used to do is you used to see great fighters great tough fighters and they were learning to be athletes now you're getting athletes and, and, and it's an actual option for Correct. an athlete, and now they're learning to fight. So I think the, the best of mixed martial artists are still yet to come. We haven't seen it yet. Now, one of, I think, maybe one of the most rewarding parts about what you do with LFA and then breeding these next generations of athletes up is LFA is a, I mean, it's a breeding ground for those athletes to then take that next step to the next level. I mean, we know guys around here, Jaleel the Realist Willis, he was a champion yeah. on LFA. He got the call. He got the call from both the UFC and Bellator. He chose Bellator. Yeah. You, all your champions are getting looked at. All your champions have the ability to go to the next level. How rewarding is that for you to know that you fostered that? 
Yeah, you know, it, 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 you know, I, I, yes, me, but it's really our team. You know what I mean? I, we've got, I, I'll tell you, I feel like we have one of the best matchmakers in the business, Mark Berry. I mean, he he's, he's basically scours the, the world finding this greatest un, untapped talent, and it just makes, it's such a great feeling. It's so rewarding to, to, to make a difference in a lot of these kids' lives. So I really enjoy what we do. I think the best is yet to come. We're growing, and, um, and, and I'm just excited to see what the future of MMA MMA and uh, you know and organizations like Ad Attitude and all these other organizations that are developing the talent that breed them for us and, and one thing about our, our fighters is that you know we have real fights in our organization we don't yep. have smash matches and that's why a lot of these organizations know that if, if you're winning fights in the in the LFA you're battle you're right. tested yeah, so they right. don't have no pro they don't have any problem bringing them up and knowing hey we're gonna throw them into the wolves because they've been thrown into the wolves and a already. lot of, and a lot of your fighters your champions are late replacement right into the UFC because they know they are that battle tested. Yeah, those guys 100%. Are so last week, or last night, shall I say, Phoenix, Arizona, LFA. Tonight, Memphis, Tennessee, Attitude MMA on the LFA Fight Network. Where do you go from here? Actually, I go home tomorrow. I'll be home for uh, um, a couple days, and I'm off to Tokyo. I'm off to Tokyo on Tuesday uh, because uh, we're working a partnership uh, with uh, a company, uh, a promotion in um, Japan called Gladiator, and uh, they're going to be sending uh, Japanese and, and, and fighters from that region of the world over to LFA, and we're going to be sending some of our fighters over there. So we're just trying to broaden, uh, you know, broaden our, our brand everywhere. So I'm off to Japan on Tuesday. Well, to echo what Grant said it's an honor to have yeah. you sitting here. Uh, it's a pleasure. You know to we be are here. we are me and Grant both we are huge fans of, of LFA. We've we've grown up on the sport of mixed martial arts and to see where your team and other great promotions, Attitude MMA, have you know lo, high tides raises all ships. Yes. I love to see this. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, my in, pleasure, yeah, man. Us. Thank you guys. Yeah, an honor thank to have you here in Memphis with Attitude oh, MMA. My, my pleasure and thanks for having me. Thank you. All right. Now we stand tuned for our intermission. <laughs> 